killed 14 and bandits kidnapped 20. In the farms, minister wants ASU members to go into. Everyone knows that Senator Shewusani is a man that likes bearing his mind on issues that affect the country, as he doesn't miss his words, why he dishes it for those that it should be served to. The opinionated senator has taken to his Twitter page to send a message to the Minister of State in matters regarding to a current incident that saw the minister sending a message to the members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities to go into farming to boost their payments. If they can't reach an agreement on payment negotiation with the federal government, Senator Sani sends a message that seems to berate the minister as he tweeted that Boko people killed 14 farmers in Bono and bandits kidnapped 20 farmers in Katsina. The farms that the Minister of State wants ASU members to return to, which is an indication that even the farm is not a safe place to be. As farmers are faced with high risk of getting murdered or kidnapped by bandits or Boko people, he concluded his tweet with the hashtag end bad governance in Nigeria which many Nigerians have been doing recently. Thank you for listening to this news. Sir, sir, um, Senator Shewusani, in as much as I, I, I really appreciate many of your opinions and many of your contributions and comments, I will say that this part, I will say that you've not spoken well, to be fact, to be frank. See, you can't take the cause of the situation of the country and allow, allow us to experience a very high rate of poverty. We already have one on ground, which is insecurity. Now you want poverty. To join insecurity, you've killed the country. Yes, you introducing or you reminding them of the crisis people experience in the farm. It means that you are indirectly asking them not to even go into farming, and you are indirectly telling them not to bother. Um, uh, 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 not to even bother join in, uh, in, in, in that idea which says be, be the producer of what you eat and what you produce. See, every day we are exposed to risk in life. Every day we are exposed to trouble and crisis. We survive is by the grace of God. Even you that is working in the office, that is not doing a farm work, do you think that you are safe? Even you that is a senator, Sunny, do you think you are safe? Haven't you heard that someone is in the office working and the building which he, he, he is collapsed on him? Haven't you heard that someone was just walking on the road and a car came and brushed him off? See, we are all exposed to crisis. We are all exposed to violence, attacks. It is just God that has been saving us. You understand? It's God. So this idea of yours saying that 20 killed and uh, 14 kidnapped, you are trying to discourage people from going into farming. And by doing that, you are reducing the food supply and production in Nigeria and thereby introducing poverty to the country and reducing unemployment. 
as far as I am concerned, that Nigeria is alive today is through the help of agriculture. Look at the period of uh, the period of uh, uh, look at the period of uh, 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 of the pandemic. The only people that were able to survive were the farmers. Even those claiming to be in the oil sector, eh? They laughed. They laughed. They, 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 they were short of cash. They need to wait until the 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 the, 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 uh, the COVID nineteen period is 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 over before they start becoming that millionaire or billionaire that they claim they used to be. Nobody told them that. Look, after making all the money in the oil sector, start looking for a land to buy in order to what to invest in agriculture. Everybody wants to invest in agriculture because of the experience we or we all went through during the pandemic. What are you saying, sir? No, no, no. I, I, I can't even. I, I can't believe that this is coming from you. I can't believe that this is coming from you because I expected something better than this. I expected you to support the motion for agriculture. But look at. See, in as much as I am against President Mobari, I will tell you that in the agriculture sector, I give me kudos because he has really done well. It's just like preparing someone for a task. If not that the president has invested so much in agriculture and motivated the people to go into agriculture, do you know what would have been what would have been the, the fate of Nigerians during the pandemic? Didn't you see how people were going outside with plates begging? Even people on suits, the corporate men, they go outside to beg. Huh, shit. See, I tell you this, sir. Agriculture, as far as I'm concerned, is the mainstay of Nigeria economy. The mainstay of Nigeria economy. Take agriculture out, you kill this country. I am not saying this because I am an, ag an agri personnel. I am not saying this because I am an agricultural personnel. But I am saying and speaking on the first side. So you will know that without agriculture, there will be nothing. There will be nothing in this country. So, the fact is this. Our country really needs agriculture to survive. Our country really needs agriculture to succeed. Alright, so um, my viewers, I don't really know what your comment concerning this news may be. Please, deem it fit to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.